Good evening, wherever you are. Good afternoon. Good morning, people of the planet Earth. It's B Fam here, your brother from another mother, coming at you with another banging video from E for Nine TV. You know how we do. What's today's topic today, people? All right, we're going to be talking about cycles, market cycles, or circles, because everything's a circle out here, people. Circles within circles. Just depends on your time frame of how big or how small. Anyway, first of all, let's jump into the market. Let's have we'll see what's going on with Bitcoin today and the prices. Because I know you guys now you need to keep up with what's going on with the prices if you are invested or a active trader in the markets. So today's prices, what's going on? Bitcoin is in the green. We're up about 2% today as of 28th of September 2020. So, Bitcoin at the moment nearly hitting the 11,000 mark. It's all good. But as I said, I'm just giving you a reminder. As I said, for those who want cheap Bitcoin, you can buy Ethereum at 364. Yeah? When you buy it at 364, it's equivalent to around. 3 million satoshis when it doubles up to 7 to 6 million satoshis or 10 million satoshis sell it and you, you're doubling up on your bitcoin yeah so that's a cheaper way of accumulating bitcoin for those people who want the cheaper option and i mean it's a no brain in it people really think about it why pay 10900 right when you can get it for half the price over time it makes sense right all right okay tether well as you know tether is a usd t coin it's a stable coin so when you make your profits in trading you can flip it into tether so it doesn't when the market goes up or down it's not affected your money stays the same yeah so bear that in mind people for those traders out there yeah and What's happening here? We've got XRP up 2%, Bitcoin Cash 5%, Binance Coin 4%. So, yeah, polka dot 8%. So, you know, we've got a little bit of movement in, in the market on the upside today. So, those people who are trading or in, who are, you know, day traders or swing traders, you might have made a little money today. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Let's go into the topic of today. What's the topic of the day, brother, from another mother? Well, it's all about market cycles. Yeah, that's what it's all about, people. It's all about market cycles. First of all, let's go into what the big boys look at. The psychology of a market cycle. Where are we in the cycle? Now, this is what you call Wall Street cheat sheet. This is what the big financial boys and, and ladies study. The average Joe like you and me, we ain't got a clue. But your brother from another mother, I'm bringing it to you, the forefront. So you know. So you can be ahead of the game and make this money. Buy low, sell high. That's the key. But obviously, depending on the time frame that you're working off, it changes but overall this is the cycle of all markets my people yeah once you learn this you have you you have a better idea of when to buy and sell your cryptocurrencies or your stocks and shares if you're dealing with that but me personally this is a cryptocurrency channel yeah we ain't dealing with no stocks and shares because that's the old boys game. We ain't got time for that. No disrespect to my elders out there. You know it's no disrespect. Yeah, none of that. But right now, it's about the new age. The new cycle. We're in a new cycle, people. And we have a new stock market emerging out of the mist, out of the old stock market. Yeah, we have the, tech, the, the crypto market. That's the new stock market, version 2.2 on steroids. It don't sleep, it don't eat, it just beats 24-7, seven, seven days a week. 
All right. So let's go into these market cycles now. One page, one page. All right. So basically, if we start down here, this is the point where you buy low. But many people wouldn't buy low here because they're in disbelief. This is where the rally will feel like the others, yeah? And if, if you go over to the other side, the right-hand side of the page, you'd see disbelief again. So you've got disbelief on both sides of this whole cycle, yeah? And at this point, we can see the chart going up over time. Now, this could be on a, a hourly time frame, any time frame, a weekly, a monthly, a daily. This happens on all time frames. This particular pattern happens on all time frames. So you just got to know what time frame when you're trading. You got to stick to that one time frame. So if you're on a four hour chart, a daily chart, a weekly chart, you stick to that. You don't change it. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't look at the other cycles. The other, the other time frames within it but it, you, you pick one to trade off and you stick with that yeah okay so if you buy down here obviously you're getting a good point because as you can see the market is on a mission to the moon and beyond yeah so we've got when you get to this point here we've got optimism this rally is real so at this point people think yes it's the big one we're going for gold, people. We're getting this crypto. We're getting this money. Yeah? Over time, it moves up a bit. Time to get fully invested. Right? This is when people start asking their friends and family, give me some money. Borrow me some money. I need some money for a short period of time. Yeah? And up here, we go up a further. We've got the thrill stage. I will buy more on margin. Got to tell everyone to buy. Buy, buy, buy. The system's go, people. The market is going do lally. People are losing their minds. Because look at this. Exponential growth. Woo! And as I said, this could be on a monthly. Even a yearly. Yeah, I can't forget the yearly time frames as well. Right? Even though in crypto, you don't even trade off the yearly time frames. Not unless you're a real macro trader. Yeah, um, me personally, I, I do off the weeklies mainly and sometimes the daily time frames, but mainly the weeklies and the dailies. So at this point, we threw it out of our nuts, people. We're getting to lally. We, we're losing our minds, right? People are making crazy money. Woo, 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 party. Up here, it gets real digital. It's euphoric. I'm a genius. I'm the Dan. Look at me. We're all going to be rich. Now, let me give you um, a heads up. In 2017, I got into the market at say, approximately this point here, at the through stage. Yeah. No, in fact, no. I would say a little bit down here at the belief stage. Not knowing, I'm unbeknown to me. I, I I don't know what's going on because this is the first time I'm getting into the market. I'm a newbie, in it. I so I'm learning. I'm learning. Still learning. I'm still learning right now. But I'm, I was really learning there back then. You know, I didn't have a clue about investing and trading because, as I said, I don't come from an investing trading background. I we didn't get taught how to invest. How to trade in school, financial literacy. I didn't get taught that in school, so I'm not a finance. I ain't no financial wizard, people. I'm an average Joe, the average Derek, the average John. I'm using all these English names, right? Yeah, the average Olu. Yeah, the average Adi. Get some Nigerian names in there, right? <laughs> I'm just the average guy, just like you. You know, brother from another mother. Because we all come from a mother, I hope. Some of you may come from a test tube, but you know. Anyway, so I got in up here, right? So a few weeks later, boom, we're at the top of the market. And now let me switch to what happened. Uh, 
let's go back. One second, people. Trading view is messing around with me. All right, this is the Bitcoin chart. Yeah. So as you can see, this is a weekly chart. So every candle that you see, <clears throat> be it green or red, they represent one week of time duration. Yeah, you got that? Right. So if I come here, November, right, right, right about November, as you can see the mouse right here. Hold on one second. Make sure you're seeing everything. Good, 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 good. All right. So, round about here, I got into the market, unbeknown to me. A few weeks later, boom, Bitcoin hit 20 grand. I was like, what the pluck is going on? And I didn't swear, people. I said pluck, P, with a P, for those flaky people out there. He swore, he swore. Just hush up and chill. Anyway, it went to 20 grand. I didn't expect that. As I said, I'm a newbie getting to the game. Then it went, it dropped all the way down to $3,300 approximately the following year, December. 2018 so if you did not sell some of your crypto or a good portion of your crypto and you just held your portfolio you just held onto whatever you bought you would have taken a big crap on the toilet a big you had diarrhea basically because your portfolio was when it was up in the highs like my portfolio was up in the 50s, 50 Gs. I only put some little money in the game at the beginning, right? It went to 50, around 40, 50 Gs. And then boom, at this point here, come the, the following year, my portfolio was like at $3,000, give or take. That's right, people. It took a big dump. It had the runs. But I didn't care because I was in it for the long haul. I'm not a short-term guy, yeah? I'm in this for the long term until i pop off to the next realm that's how long i'm in this for okay right so if we go back to the cheat sheet wrong one wrong one again yeah okay so as you can see i got complacent we just need to cool off for the next rally that's what i thought we just need to cool off no 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 i got it totally wrong boom came down anxiety why am I getting margin calls? This dip is taking longer than expected. You know, thinking, yeah, it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. Boom, comes that down. Denial. My investments are with great companies. They will come back. That's, in den that's a den denial statement, people. That's a lot of people were saying that. Boom, come down again. Panic. Oh, shite. Everyone is selling. I need to get out. So if you bought up here, and you sold down here, you made a loss. If you bought here and you sold up here, you're all right. And that's not the object of the game. You need to buy down here and sell up here. But majority of people do not get the lows, the lows, the low price, the right bottom of the price to the right height of the price. Nobody gets that. You, you know, once in a while, you know, you may you, you may get a fluky and you may get it, but. What you're looking for is just a, a good filling, a good sandwich. To fill up your sandwich, whatever filling that you put into your sandwiches, people. Yeah. So. And after panic, you get capitulation. I'm getting 100% out of the market. I can't afford to lose no more money. Yeah, people just. Bitcoin's a scam. Cryptocurrency a scam. I'm jumping out. I'm just selling at a loss. Goes down again. Anger. People are angry. Oh, I lost all my money. I lost all my money. It's not going to come back again. Bitcoin's a scam. It's a Ponzi scheme. This this this, this, how, this how all market goes though, people. Not just Bitcoin market. Not just, not just cryptocurrency, but all markets in general. Yeah, because markets are based off human emotions. Yeah. So once you learn 
how human beings react and think. And once you learn the cycles of the market and other cycles outside of this, it's going to give you an edge, a good edge in the game. So you'll be able to make this copious amount of money. Okay? So you've got to learn, you've got to take the time out and do some research, my people. Please take the time out and do some research on this. So after anger, it's bottomed out. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the trough. <laughs> people are just, hey, it's not coming back again. They're crying. I lost my money. Yeah, people get depression. After, yeah, after that depression, my retirement money is lost. How can I pay for all this now? I, I'm an idiot. I borrowed money off my friends and family. I've blown it up the wall. What am I going to do? Then the market starts going, ticking back up again. Disbelief. This is a sucker's rally. The cycle repeats itself again, people. For those who know. For those who don't, you better start getting to know if you want to make these copious amounts of money for your family. For your children, for your grandchildren, and leave a legacy so that so they can say, "Yo, granddad, granddad was in the game. He knew what was happening at the early stages of things." You have to get into the look. It's irresponsible for you not to own some type of cryptocurrencies. Yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the top ones. Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin. It's irresponsible for you people. You may not believe in it right now. You may you may think this is ain't going nowhere. Don't worry, I'm gonna come to come to you with some more videos to prove what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, go out there and do your own research. Get on your phones. You walk with your phone every day. This ain't twenty years ago where you can't we have to go to the library and look through books and books and rows and rows of of of, of books. Oh man, that's just long, it's not efficient. Now you've got efficiency in your hand, in the palm of your hand, you have efficiency, right? It's called a smartphone for those who have it. All right, anyway, this video is going to be quick and short because the last video that I've done on Ethereum, that was an hour. I didn't even mean to go to an hour, but time just went, whoo, right? So basically, get to learn the market cycles, people. Right, please get to learn it. And another thing, what's gonna aid aid you in aid aid you in your learning your research? I would suggest that you learn about the bigger cycles as well as the smaller time frames. Because as I said, when you're trading, let me just switch back to Bitcoin. You have got a weekly chart. You can trade with a weekly chart. If I click here on, on, I can go daily. This is the daily chart. Yeah, as you can see, it's a different pattern. If I click again, we can go to the, uh, where are you gone? What's happening here, man? What's going on? Hold on. Hourly, hours, hours, hours. Here we go. We've got a four hour chart. So as you can see, depending on the time frame that you're looking on, it will give you a different viewpoint, perspective. And viewpoint and perspective is very important in this. You have to zoom out, zoom right out and see the bigger picture of things and then zoom back in and you can see what's really happening on the inside and use a combination of, of, of these different time frames to buy and sell at the right prices. It will aid you very much so. So people, I can hear my children coming in the house. They're going to start making noise. Right, you're gonna disturb Muldad right now, Daddy, or Muldad, how we say in our lahaj, our language, for those who know what I'm talking about. Uh, let me give you one more heads up to help you learn with the cycles and the circles, or circles and cycles, or rings there, or the Lord of the Rings. You've got to learn this, people. You have to learn this. Um, I'm gonna recommend a few books for you. Um, the Cycles of Life and Death. That's one book. And another book is Nuwapian's Ontologist of Time, the second book. And the third book is The Ultimate Reality. Now, these three books will give you an even more in-depth research, knowledge on cycles. 
because there's different cycles. You have your, your there's different cycles with many things around us, people. Uh, it's not. I'm not just talking about the crypto market and the, the stocks and shares and all that stuff. There's different cycles in all things that you see around you. There's a cycle to everything. These three books will help you learn that, and in learning that, it will aid you in this cryptocurrency journey to help you trade and buy and sell at the right times. I'm telling you, people, it works. Don't believe me though. Check it out because I'm not no financial advisor. Yeah, I dropped out of university twice, flunked it. Okay, all right, just to give you a heads up on that. So, in saying that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, quick and short, right? You know the you know the deal. Share it, like it, subscribe, please. I need your help. We live in a sharing economy in this twenty first century. It's all about sharing. You share this, you share that, you share that, you share this. Come on, share it, people. Sharing is caring. I care. That's why I'm sharing this knowledge with you, this information with you to help you on your journey in this life that we're all going through on planet Earth. Yeah, so it's your brother from another mother. Always coming at you with a banging video with some jewels for your mind. Gotta love you. Gotta leave you. I'm out. Later. Peace.